but today we got a little different scenario. We do have some clouds yet, but I don't think precipitation from the sky is <laughs> gonna come down on us like it did yesterday. So you know, with with this overcast, that top water bite, I suspect is certainly one of my favorite times to throw it because they're not so jammed up with the sun in their eyes. And it's a should be relatively flat, at least back here in the marsh. So good top water, little wake bait. I got a little special treat for them. I'm gonna try to feed them today with some top water, but um, you know, if we can start off an hour or two in the morning with some top water bites, it'd be magic. Get a little, maybe, just maybe a little sun today. <laughs> That'd be nice. We're gonna spend a little time throwing top water for redfish this morning, but we're also gonna have a good time later to be able to sight fish. So we're gonna spend a little time targeting some redfish on top water and then switch over to trout, see if we can get a couple trout, and then jump back on the redfish when the tide's low and see if we can catch a couple flounder as well. So maybe we'll get that little inshore, North Carolina inshore slam. We'll see. But I, I'm excited about just the back country, kind of the marsh. It's kind of, I think, both in our wheelhouse. Yeah. So, okay. All right, well, hop in. I'm, I think we're good. I'm just curious as to what this post front and rain has done to them. Let's find out. I mean, I, I can't imagine. It feels it very top watery this morning. It always does. And But I can't imagine. I think the front is still on us. Yeah. Yeah, we got, still got some rain on us. different scene in here, huh? Yeah. I can't believe how much water falls off the banks. Isn't that crazy? I'm gonna go try. You ready? I'm ready. Oh. That's a trout or small red? Or maybe small red. It's a small red. Small like, I mean, that's aggressive for that little redfish. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. That's pretty impressive by that little guy. Though. I know. I'm gonna stay right up here just so we don't throw too many wakes. Oof. That'll make that'll make a show right there. Right in here too, it wouldn't suck to get a couple blind casts of that shrimp and just hop yeah. it through where that fish just ate. It, it's real shallow and drops off into a little gut right there and they'll sit. Oh, going away out here. See the wake's going away? Oh yeah. Talk. There you go, perfect. Let it sit for a second. It'll hop off. Set. There he is. There he is, nice work there. Coming together, baby, right Starting there. Starting to happen. Nice spot on him. Ain't no monster, but man, he smoked it. That was pretty. Yeah, good spot. Incredible cast. He's gonna find the oh, underneath side of this boat. What a freaking cast that was. <laughs> Dude. Okay. Yes. Count it, <laughs> dude. We did it. That was money. That was awesome. That's how it's supposed that, to happen, that's how right? Supposed, that's what we've been looking he's, for all night. Like, <laughs> you, and he's right there. He's waking away. Make the cast. He eats it. I mean, that was pro that was top five prettiest cast I've ever seen right there. I appreciate that. He fed it coming right at him. See, that's the hardest angle to get him to eat at, too. It's all about it. But you let him feel like he found it. Now, he ain't go like this, so you got him? I got him good. Kind of. Yeah, I got it. Sweet. Hey! 
There he goes. <laughs> Dude, I can't believe we didn't do that when we popped the hook out. I know it, right? <laughs> well, so here's the deal. We made a change. Weather kind of, you know, we got a lot, don't have the greatest sun, but enough. And our top part bite this morning really kind of fell apart. Uh, we had some early commitments, but not like to the boat commitment, right? Not to the boat. <laughs> some rubber hooks. We came in, now that the tide's changed, it's starting to come in. And, you know, Joe was talking about the fish coming in and just like kind of cruising the bank with their backs out of the water. I can actually see a pod. That That's great, second. see? So we're, we've made the change based on, you know, he's been here for a long time. So you come into an area that are high percentage, we see a fish right away, he spots it like 30, 40 feet away, make a cast to him, and they're blowing up a little mullet and a little shrimp, and man, you feed him with a little shrimp like that, and he came out of his skin to eat it. That was awesome. That was freaking awesome. That was awesome. That's awesome. exactly what we're trying to do, you know? You don't always come out and just straight up jack them. Sometimes it's a little bit like work, but yeah, I mean, a lot of what we're off. doing today is is weather dependent. I for mean, sure, especially the for sight sure. fishing. We're, we've got it's kind of stacked against us, but it yeah. makes the fish more rewarding when you catch. Yeah, fish and and, fish. and I think too that you know because we still have this front kind of sitting on us, you know, if we get a bait in front of him like that, that I mean, he chased it out of his skin to get it. So smoked it. We have some good stuff. We're not even to his zone. Like we come around the corner, and the man says, "This looks juicy." <laughs> so I, I'm all about some juicy look. So let's see if we can. I think uh, we need to go because there's about 15 of them coming on the back. Okay, right see, 15 of them coming right here. That's what I'm talking about, man. Nice. Pretty work, Jay. Oh, just crawlers, but just deep enough we couldn't see them. That's a better one. Yeah. And uh, I mean, honestly, he, there was two there. His buddy, I think, was a little bit bigger. Yeah. Yeah, he's hooked good, I think. Yes. Dude. Nice work. <laughs> Fun feeding him that close. <laughs> oh, man. I saw him just slithering off. I was like, oh, stop. Stop. <laughs> I like trying to, it's so tough because you're trying so quietly to stop oh, yeah. the boat. Yeah. I'm going to let you unhook this one. I'm going to drop it <laughs> in the water. <laughs> Cookie cutter from that other one. I know it, right? A little release on this joker. Appreciate you playing. Look at that. Nice. Nice and healthy release. Jeff. Hey. That was money. We're getting it together. Dude. We're figuring out. We're so figuring as out. soon as we, you said there was going to be some fish outside of these little oysters, and I'm looking, and like earlier, you were like, just keep looking next to us. Sure enough, I look down, and there's two slithering away, which, awesome. as you know, can be a little bit of a challenge of going away from I us. I mean, you fed the last two fish going away from us, which is well, hard to do. So, so when I pull the ends, if you bring that bait up on the surface, sometimes it'll wig them out. Right, right. So I'm just like, just under the surface, dropped it in front of him, twitched it, doof. That's all. Awesome. Smoked it. That okay. 12 o'clock stuff sucks because I can never see it. I don't get to, I don't get to enjoy the bite. But hey, I'll, I'll take them however we can get them right now. That's team player right there. That's team player. Woo! Look, I'm just letting you know, if I catch another one, we're trading places, big guy. I want to see if you still got it. You don't want to watch me blow shot after shot. <laughs> Come on. I think our team works well like this. You make the beautiful cast, I pull like a dancer. <laughs> now that is clip of the day. <laughs> I'll pull like a dancer. <laughs> in here at a lower tide they'll be belly crawling out on this bar once that water stops falling over it belly crawling down that grass bank
So this is the time, you know, the tide dropping out, they'll be cruising the edges looking for shrimp and mullet to right. brush on. But finally getting a little bit of sunlight. Yeah. I mean, let's be honest, the, the top water bite in August, even back home, like this time of the morning, right. goes downhill quick. It goes downhill quick. It was, and it was a little, Ooh. yeah, put one right in there. Oh, come on now. You're right in there. Nice work. There Jack. he is. Good sight, bud. Dude, did you see him come try to sip it off the surface? I there? did. That was awesome. <laughs> that, I had to let it sink back down. That was awesome. Oh, a little better one. A little better one? Yes, sir. Not a cookie cutter? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. I might pay my clients every day if they could cast like you. <laughs> Come on now. Getting back to you here. All yours. Nice winner, fish. winner, baby. That's a, God, look at that color, man. That North Carolina copper. Good sight. I mean, I, I usually don't rush down the bank like that too well, much. Well, it was every bit worth it. It was worth it. Just because we had that change in direction on the bank, yeah. so often they'll get to something like that and kind of lose. Like you mean, like here they would dip off? Yeah. Well, sometimes if you get a cove that comes in, you yeah. hope they'd swing into it, but but little points will sink yeah. deep, and um, I just want to make sure we made that happen. <laughs> but dude, that was freaking awesome. If people wonder why sight fishing is so addictive, yeah. it's because of that right there. That right there. And that's why people come with you. That's why people come with me. Right. Right. They want to be able to experience that. Should we get him back in the water? Yeah, for sure. We ah. should probably get a photo of this. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're handling all fish from now on. <laughs> Sorry. Look, it, you know, hey, they slip out of your hands. They slip out of your hands. It's I'm, desperate. I'm, I, I, don't, my, I guess I'm getting arthritis or something. Well, I just can't hold yeah. on anything. Yeah, well, you know. That was killer. Tide's coming in. It's pretty oh, yeah. much done with sight fishable depths here. Kind yeah. of chase that, that tide up the river trying to stay shallow, but we fished it out here for the You could tell it's definitely changed. And I don't know what we're doing, but I know that <laughs> low stuff was the game. Yeah, when it's shallow, I mean, they'll still be on these banks, but you ain't gonna catch them sight fishing. You're not gonna see them, so. Yeah, it's too muddy. Too yeah. muddy, but we, we, we made some good things happen there when that tide was low and yeah. caught a couple fish. And There was some key decisions in the makes of that. I mean, this is all about trying to stay in that right depth. Yeah. Different banks are different depths. Further up the river you go, the further behind in the tide you are. So you've gotta yeah. constantly be thinking about that, which we have been throughout the day. Um, but I think that might be it for us as far as good quality shots at redfish for today. I'm with you on that, but I just want you to know, next time we come up, if you don't think a place is juicy, we ain't fishing it. Because <laughs> <laughs> every place we went looked juicy, we it caught them. juicy. Well, good, man. Listen, had an absolute killer day. It was a blast. It Sight was... fishing those fish, coming down the banks, just crushing shrimp. It was, side fishing dream. It was fun, man. They made some great casts and we got a couple fish. Yeah, man. I'm stoked. Well, good times. Let's chuck it on back and maybe we can make it back before the it looks like heavens unleashed. <laughs>